Is it just a bug? What if I rest again? It's now five in the morning. No, it still won't. Oh, for crying out loud. No, I'm just going to load that up again and. I don't know. We'll try it again. Let's see if loading it again makes a difference. But what the hell? If that's a bug, it's a very annoying bug. Very annoying bug. No, it just it won't let me. Won't let me identify it at all. That's stupid. That's really, really bloody stupid. Well, never mind. Uh, I guess we'll just have to live with it. Um. Is there someone else in the party who might know what it is or something? Maybe I don't know. Law fifteen zero eight three nineteen and twelve. Imwin, do you know what any of this stuff is? Apparently not. No. That's super irritating. I'm not pleased with that at all. But never mind. Um, for now, I will remove these, change them into sleep spells. Could put a magic missile in there, but no, I think I'll stick with the sleep spells. And um, what a waste of my talent! Yeah, we'll just rest. You do not dream often, but tonight the visions are vivid indeed. Long have you walked, but now you find yourself back amidst the stones of Candlekeep. Your former home looms before you, the drab walls just as you remember them. Over the barricades you can see your old room, and you wonder if it really was as small as it appears now. As you stand before the keep, a familiar figure comes into view. Gorion stands before you, but his visage is shadowy and weak. He is dead in your dreams as in life. The phantom of your foster father mutely walks towards the woods, towards supposed safety, and beckons for you to follow as he did once before. This time you remain behind, knowing what is to come. Before your eyes, phantoms of the past reenact the pathetic scene that must have taken place in your absence. Clad in armor assuredly magical, a figure strides from the darkness. Admittedly a powerful mage in his youth, Gorion is all but helpless before the onslaught. As he falls, the scene begins again, replaying over and over. Each successive viewing makes the unknown warrior all the more impressive. As you stare at the murderer of your former mentor, one thought coalesces in your mind. You will have such power as this. Whatever it takes, you will have all that he does and more. With that, a passage becomes clear through the darkened wood, and you wonder how you could have missed it. The trees close behind you as you walk, but you are unconcerned. The path feels right, and will assuredly give you what you seek. It seems to promise this in a voice you know, but yet have never heard. The image of Gorion's death replays in your mind throughout the night. You get used to it. Mm, so there we go. We've had a, a strange and somewhat creepy dream. By the looks of it. We gained a special You're ability. Lolok's Minor Drain, which is um, the exact same spell that Edwin has. His little low-level health leeching spell. And we've gained it as a special ability, so... Um, about time you woke up. Uh, you okay, Marcus? You look kind of pale. Like you've seen a ghost. You have some bad dreams or something. Wouldn't surprise me. Um, I think he's pretty going to be fairly open with Imowen. I don't see why he wouldn't. So, uh... She is his oldest friend, after all. Um, dreams, yes. Uh, more strange than bad, really. Huh, well, they sounded bad to me. You were tossing and turning, mumbling in your sleep too. Loudly. Kept me up half the night, you did. Anything you want to talk about? Uh, oh, might as well. I was back in Candlekeep, only... Blah, 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 blah. Stuff. 
You relate your dream. Sounds creepy to me. Really creepy. I don't like the sound of it at all. Poor Marcus. But it was just a dream, right? No harm done. Um, right. I don't... From a logical perspective, I don't see how he he's suddenly aware that he has this innate magical power. All of a sudden, and has such precise knowledge of it, but... It does also stand to reason that if he did know about it, he would probably tell anyone. Because I don't see why he wouldn't. Um, uh, however, because it says here, you know, there's a bunch of responses saying that he... You know, he does know about it. So I'm going to have to assume, in spite of my... What I would think is the most logical thing here, that he wouldn't immediately know about it. But since the writers and stuff, um, and the, you know, and everything have kind of assumed that I do know about it, or rather Marcus knows about it, then I'll, I'll just roll it, I suppose. So, um, not at all. In fact, I feel invigorated. I've, I've gained something as well. A, a power of a sort. I can now draw from the very life essence of a, a creature, healing myself in the process. Perhaps greater gifts await me in the future. That's, yeah. that's, that's Mark is always, always looking to bigger and greater things, I suppose. Um, yeah, let's go with that. Yeah, you just take it easy for a bit, okay? I'll get things packed. Make so there we go, we've had a strange dream. Yes? Of some description, and we now... Uh, no, there's a spells. Ignore that. We now have an another special ability in addition to our offensive and defensive spins, which is Lalox Minor Drain, which is, like I said, it's the Again same spell that me. Edwin here uses. See? So that's kind of neat, I guess. It's a little bit useless. No sooner said than done. But there it is. I think that, that actual ability there does change depending on your alignment as well, depending on what you get. Because I've heard of the characters that have got, like, um, an actual a healing spell rather than a, a leeching health spell. So anyway, but, well, Marcus is evil and everything, so... <laughs> anyway, onwards, the normal stronghold, to continue our quest to find this dino hair woman, and then we'll decide what to do with her, I suppose. Yes, this is the den of evil where they hold sweet diner here. Onwards, friends, onward. Hold, good Minsker. We should f f first um, just to study the place, lest we fall into an ambush. Ambush? Is that some kind of a hole that we fall into? <laughs> no, no, it's it's a kind of shrub with long, hard thorns. What? Oh, thank you, Boo. Uh, Minsk understands now. No fear, friend. Who shall sniff out any knob stupid enough to try and ambush us? Onward, I say. Onward, but, but with caution. I don't like the look of this bridge. Uh, the, the planks look old and slippery. Khalid, if Minsk hasn't, hadn't witnessed your valor on the battlefield, he would think you were afraid. On we go. But we all know this can't be. No brave man. In a, no, no man brave enough to marry your hero would be scared of some puny knolls. Please, Minsk, keep your voice down. Your hero sometimes is very sensitive to... What are you two mulling over, looking exactly like two old wives? Khalid, was Minsk talking about that? Nothing, dear, nothing. We weren't talking at all. But I thought I heard... Maybe the wind. Yes, the wind in this gorge. Uh, so, uh, what are we waiting for, Minsk? Follow me, but quietly. You know, Boo, it makes my heart good to see such a display of courage. Just look at him go! <laughs> hmm, now that he mentioned it, this bridge doesn't look quite safe. Let's cross carefully, shall we? Yes, Khalid was very brave to charge as he did. Danger? Where? I see nothing. Oh, that danger. Ranger, are you talking to that rodent? How many times did I tell you to... Yes, Khalid, I hear you. Minsk is coming. Minsk is coming. And he brings Boo along. One day... 
I shall have the great druid test my hearing, and if there's nothing wrong, then these two will hear of that. <laughs> so there we go. Uh... <laughs> right, yeah, this is the danger Mint spoke of, I believe. Stop. You go nowhere. This our bridge. You pay to walk it. Yeah, you pay uh, 200 for all heads, or lose heads. Tell me, creature, who taught you the words 200? For I am entirely sure that you cannot count it out. If you wish to prove me wrong, please do so out loud, and we should pay you for the whole thousand, pay you the whole thousand for your efforts. But under one condition, you and your companions should all close your eyes while you're counting. <laughs> Very cunning, Edwin. Uh, oh, yeah, C close your eyes. One, two. What are you waiting for, Marcus? The countdown? Four. Yeah, you smart. We take heads anyway and get lots of gold. Edwin, sling, please. My blade will cut you down Ouch. There we go. Um, did we get some? No, we didn't get. There wasn't any reputation change from that. That was just Imowin randomly going, no, 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 randomly complaining. What do we get? A potion of hill giant strength, which apparently we're not allowed to use. A potion of cold resistance. A lol gem. <laughs> um, a gold. Some gold pieces. Um, is there anything else? Oh, there is. There is. There is. There is. Oh, it's a bastard sword. Wait, isn't there? Yeah, look, there's another thing there. Come here. 67 gold and a pair of gauntlets. Hang on a minute. Maybe these are the gauntlets I was thinking of. Hmm. Let me just... I thought those braces we picked up here were braces of defense, but maybe it's these. I didn't do anything with Marcus. Didn't do anything to his armor class when I put them on Marcus. But what if I put him on Minsk? There we go. His armor class goes down to minus one. There we go. Brilliant. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, well, I'm not going to wear them, like I said, because we've not identified them, even though our stupid identify spell thing appears to be broken, which is kind of making me reconsider a little bit. But um, those, I think, are gauntlets of defense. And when you put them on... I am not mistaken. Yes, it bo boosts your dexterity up to 18, which is awesome. Uh, so they're useless to Marcus, cause since he's already got a dexterity of 18, but they could be pretty useful for, well, Minsk, actually, because he's, of our three frontline fighters, he's the one with the least dexterity, I think. So if we were to put them on Minsk, that would put his armor class down to minus one, which is, like, the best out of the entire party, which is actually really, really good. And it would prevent him from getting bashed and biffed in combat quite so much. Um, so that's pretty awesome. Um, but uh, for now, like I said, I won't, I won't use them because we've not identified them. And I will give this potion, both these potions, in fact, to Jahira. What are, how many potions have we got now? A fair few. Four of them, all completely and utterly random. Yes. Right, anyway, um, servant awaits. Go heal Marcus. There we go. I'm quite pleased with the fact that we've not had to use a health potion in quite a while now. Um quite pleased with that indeed. But anyway. Let's go down this way. Cause well basically the the null fortress is up that way, but there's a whole bunch of other stuff down this way. As well, as I recall. Well, including a bunch of nulls, but you know. There's also other stuff cooked as well that's pretty cool. Loot wise, that is. Uh, Imowen, what are you doing? Are you out of arrows again already? Fine, you can have Marcus's arrows. What? He's not really been using them, so. A waste of my talent. There we go. What time is it? It's still 5 a.m. apparently. I'd explain why it's so 
blooming dark everywhere, but... Okay, fine. Let's keep going, keep exploring. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of caves around here somewhere, which have some nice things in them. So, they're a little difficult to spot, though. I'm going to keep my eyes open. Oh, nothing here, then. Just a dead end. This game is quickly becoming famous for its dead ends, at least in this playthrough. Let's keep going. Ah, wonderful. Oh, my heart's really not in this. I have to admit, Marx is not getting a lot of hits, is he? Yeah. Um, Nilthaco 17, he yours is 14. Yours is 17 as well. But you just don't, never seem to get any hits. Make it quick, of course. It's a bit of a shame because uh, you can tell when it's when Marcus gets a hit because you get the little lightning effect from the hammer. At least I think yes. you do most of the time. So you know, a little bit miffed about that, but in mind, what have we got here then? An oil of fiery burning. This potion can be hurled up to 40 feet, at which point it hits the ground and immediately explodes into a ball of fire. It, it, it inflicts 66 points of damage. That's crazy. That's like. 1 to 60 points, no, 6 to 60 points of damage, I think. Wait, is that right? No, okay, that's not right. Uh, what is 6? 6 is 36, so yeah, that's 6 to 36 points of damage, I think. If my math is correct, which it probably isn't. Um, to all within the area surrounding the point of impact, with a save versus breath allowed in order to reduce the damage by half. Yeah, that, that sounds daft, by the way, save versus breath, but it's to do with, like, um, dragon's breath, you know, so... Because like dragons in in D and D have breath weapons like fire and acid and stuff like that, so that's what that that means by save versus breath. It doesn't mean save versus someone's bad breath. Um, let's keep going this way, keeping an eye out for caves. Like I said. Although I bet I've already walked past one already, and everyone's gonna be like, "No, what are we? What are we doing? You missed a cave." Um, but we found one here at least. I bet there's gonna be yeah. I bet there's gonna be nothing in here other than Svarts. Ah, you get, 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 get away from Edwin. Last it all. Kill him! Oh, he's run off. Never mind. Fine. Loot. Oh, he's back. There we go. Now then. As I was saying, loot! And I can hear the daggerful giant rat sound effect. Yes, yes, Minsk. What have you say? Well, right, well, there's nothing in there except Zvart. It's wonderful. Of course. What a fantastic start. Hot. Whatever. Let's just keep going. I'm not going to bother healing Edwin because, in theory, he shouldn't ever get hit. So that was a bit of a rarity because we were in a cave and it muddled up our formation when we went in there. So, Ugh, more of them. You have the most annoying battle cry in fantasy RPG history. Get away from there, Edwin. Alright, I see we're running a bit low on... No, we're not running low on bullets. You've got plenty of bullets left. Silly man. Stop it. No sooner said than done. Soon enough, I'm probably going to have to switch Jahira into melee. And just give the rest of her bullets to Edwin just so he can do something useful. In any case, let's keep going. Wait a minute. Is that... No, that wasn't a cave, and that's. Yes, that's Morsevarts. 
At least we're killing them fairly easily now. Grief, these guys gave us so much trouble at the beginning of the game. 